and welcome back to the channel and on today's video we are going to be working on the Mark IV Golf and as you can tell by the title we are going to be replacing the water pump so this is the 2.8 V6 full motion um, it's a really nice car done a lot of work on it so far and I recently replaced the oil pressure switch um, the sensor so if you want to see how that's done little video up there or down below and in that video I noticed that the around the water pump was a little bit wet and since then since doing that video um, I, I could hear a little bit of a knocking noise as well but I'm not sure whether that knocking noise was there beforehand or not because there were so many other noises going on with the engine um, with like the vacuum leaks there was loads of hissing because again in that previous video I said about Bic from uh, my local MOT test station who replaced the load of lines and helps me out so now it's quiet in the engine down I'm starting to hear these other noises so I'm not sure whether that was a previous issue or not but the cooler was did drop when I first got the vehicle it dropped a little bit I did notice um, and it has dropped a little bit more since uh, so that water pump leaking that's I think going to be the issue I will put a little clip in now of what it sounds like with the engine running so we'll get a little clip of that put that in Right, so there is, well, you can hear from different angles when I'm stood next to the steering wheel, it's definitely a lot louder. Um, you can hear it, that, that like knocking sound. Um, but when you're actually around there in that area, with your ear, it does definitely sound like it's coming from the water pump. Um, if it's not, then, well, there's a knock inside the engine, isn't there? But <laughs> I, I doubt that's the case. I'm pretty sure it's just the water pump. So what we're going to do is, I'm still waiting for the delivery, I'm still waiting for the water pump to turn up, but that's not going to hold me back. I'm going to make a start, drain most of the coolant out. I'm not going to do a full flush on my coolant, um, I just don't have the time because tomorrow my cousin is coming down, um, and he's coming down in his Focus ST, so we're going to go out and we're going to go for a little drive, and I want the Golf, I want to be taking the Golf out, because, you know, I can keep up with him now, whereas <laughs> in the van, it was like, bye Lee. <laughs> so now let's get this golf sorted so we can go and have some fun tomorrow so I've literally only been out here five minutes <laughs> and I've already finished my first cup of tea it's going to be one of them days lots of lots of procrastinating lots of cups of tea <sighs> because this looks like a nightmare for starters, right down there, that's the water pump, right there. You see that? That looks fun to get to. Can't get to it from underneath, um, unless you drop the subframe and the engine and lower it right down. So the only other way is to raise the engine up. So there is a, where's the engine? I did see an engine lifting mount. So there's an engine lifting mount down here. Oh, here it is, let's take this cover off. That was only just sat on there, just to make it look good, because I actually need to get some of these little rubber clips, clamps, whatever they are. So I could take off this, that goes to the uh, PCV valve, and then directly below it, just there, is a hooking eye, so I could use that hooking eye. Bear with me, I've got a phone call coming in. Right, sorry about that. A little phone call from my mum. Bless her, she's not been very well, but just let me know how she's gone with the doctors anyway so that's where the water pump is there's no room to get in there so i'm gonna to have to raise the engine up and i think to do that i do have the crane I've got an engine crane right there so i can just hook it on there and just take the weight of the engine um, i'm not sure how easy it is going to be to get the crane in there uh, but saying that i could just put a jack underneath and just lift the engine but People are saying it needs to come up about eight to 10 inches. Um, and that's a lot to bring the engine up. They say these engine mounts are okay on this side. You don't have to loosen this one off. But if it's coming up that high, I 
think I'm going to take the top of the air box off completely and remove that there so that none of this bends too much because I don't want any of that breaking. I've had a look around and it should be okay to do it this way by reins of the engine. So again, just need to remove the power steering, the actual uh, reservoir, well, just loosen it, move it out of the way. Coolant's obviously going to have to be drained. Remove this. If I remove it, I can give it a bit of a clean. Uh, apparently, got to take out the washer bottle as well. And that should give us enough room to get in there. So once we've done all that, this power steering pipe, which has actually been replaced by Volkswagen two years ago, I looked through the receipts. So there's a little clamp there, that needs to be loosened. We've got a little bolt that we've got to find to go in there. Um, and that'll take the tension off the belt. The belt, I've already gone ahead and done myself a little diagram so I know what's what. So I've got the crank, which goes over to the power steering, which goes around um, the air con, and then around the alternator, around the, the tensioner, around the water pump, and then back to the crank. So I've already gone ahead and wrote that down. Um, yeah, so we need to loosen that. We need to loosen all those bolts off, get the pulley out. Oh, loads to get done. Joys. I'm starting to wonder now whether I should have left it in service mode and made this a bit easier. I don't know if it would have made it much easier. I don't know. So that's the top tensioner and the water pump. The water pump's a bit quieter. Not as loud as the tensioner. So that tensioner is going to need replacing as well. I should have checked all of this before I even ordered anything. But yeah, when I looked here the other day, it was all wet around here. And now I'm looking, it looks completely dry. Hmm, interesting. I'm still going to change the pump anyway. Right, so here is an update of where we're at. I've drained out some coolant. I mean, the coolant, as it was running out, actually looked really clean. Really good. Which is a bonus. Disconnected, top of the air filter. Yeah, so on this side, I removed the tensioner, which is down here. And I believe I can just get a replacement pulley. Doesn't sound too good, that. Worn out. Um, probably original as well, I expect. So, I want to get the washer bottle out. I've released the power steering, just by the bolt there. I'll remove the, uh, I think this is a carbon filter, is it? So I'll just remove those two bolts from in there. Just moved it over so I can get into this top washer bolt there. There's another bolt down there for the washer that can come out. Um, obviously the reservoir, cooler reservoir, gone. Just took that out. Gives me a bit more room, a bit of access. Also, I can clean the bottle because the inside absolutely minging. Right, so here's a little tip for you, anyone looking to uh, do this job themselves. So I've just moved the washer bottle out of the way. I haven't disconnected any of these. But, on the water pump, you can see, it's not gonna show it, but actually on the water pump itself, there's like a hole it's like in the water pump. And if you rotate the actual wheel, um, there's a hole and you can put like a screwdriver down there. And what that will do, is that will lock that wheel out so you can actually go ahead and loosen those bolts without having to worry about the whole thing rotating. I see it's locked in now. Yeah, that's the old six mil Allen key and spanner trick.
awesome. Right, so where we're at, all the, the pulleys off, all the bolts are out for the water pump. Got a bucket underneath to catch any water that comes out. I'm going to split the flange, the water pump from the block, I'll split that, let it drain. And then what I need to do is I need to lift the engine up. So I've got everything done now ready so that I can just lift the engine up, pull that one out, put the new one in, lower the engine back down and then I can tighten it all back up once it's down. Um, so I don't really want to be putting too much pressure on this mount. So we have two bolts there, one there, one just there. And then the pendulum mount, just need to unbolt that there, the pendulum mount. And uh, should be able to jack it up. But I'm gonna crack the pump now, let it drain for a bit, I'm gonna go have a cup of tea. And then hopefully by the time that's finished draining, I'll be able to move that, put the jack underneath there and use the jack. If I can't do it with the jack, because um, it won't go high enough, then I have to get the crane out. Uh, well, let's go get a cup of tea, cup of tea, cup of tea. So unfortunately, I haven't actually filmed a great deal, um, although I've got the tripod set up. It's just, all you're going to be seeing is my back, because there's no room in here at all to work. But the water pump completely drained out. I've removed those bolts for the engine mount. The pendulum bolts are out there down there. I've got the engine on the trolley jack at the moment. And we'll see if that's any good. Slowly bring it up, make sure nothing's fouling. Um, and then the new water pump. I'm just going to put a bit of uh, coolant around that seal before I push it down. Just to help lube and to help seal but yeah I've got that from euros 34 quid so um yeah happy days new water pump so yeah shout out to Paul nice one mate from euros because every time I order he always rings up and goes all right Matt I've got another delivery for you I'm like yeah nice one you in yeah I'm in Every time, happy days. Service from Euros is top notch. Right, but yeah, like I said, I'm ready now just to jack the engine up, make sure we've got plenty of clearance, and then get the water pump out. You can see the riding on the pavement, young kids that grow up in basements. Online, a whole new generation. I'm a make mine, so you better go take it. Always they need a new replacement. Decentralized, can't contain it. We're changing lives, yeah. Right, so just quickly, <laughs> the engines had to come up a lot. So people on the forum saying that's fine. So I just put a rag in there, blew out all the crap off that was around it, cleaned all the face and surface off. Now I can install that. There you go, something like that. Right, I'm just going to get the bolts in quickly, loosely. Um, and then we'll lower it all back down and put it all back together. So I've got everything back in, back together. Everything's tightened up. Um, I lined up those bolts. Uh, before I lowered the engine completely, I had maybe about an inch gap and I was able to get the bolts lined up, start them off and held it in position as I slowly lowered the engine down. Um, and then before it was completely touching, there was a bit of swing movement on the old gearbox. So I had to swing the gearbox backwards and forwards to get those two bolts for the pendulum mount. So that's all there. They're all tightened up now. Uh, air box is all back on. Belts on, all tensioned up. So I just need to mix up some coolant. 
So we've got some concentrated coolant. Um, well, I've got a bottle here so I can measure out how much I'm going to use. So I'm going to do one litre to two litres. So that should be good enough for minus 20, which is more than enough around here. All right, let's top her up. I'm going to keep her jacked up for now, up in the air, until we got her up to temperature. Make sure there's no leaks, make sure everything's all right. And then hopefully, good to go for tomorrow. I'm going to come down here because that's quite loud that is making uh, a little bit of noise so it's definitely that pulley on the tensioner there that needs changing so <laughs> I'm going to have to um, go back on Euros I guess another phone call with Paul cheers mate sound bloke um, yeah right well hopefully this has um, been helpful for someone uh, how long have I been out here five hours four cups of tea again four uh, yeah, just took me time and got it done. Well, as you can tell, it is getting dark. I've got the light on. Um, I'm going to call it a day. I'm going to wrap it up. I've tidied up all my tools and that. Everything's been sorted out and put away. It's just a case of letting it get up to temperature, make sure there's no leaks. And then uh, lower her. Can't wait for tomorrow now. Go for a drive. <laughs> buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. I haven't driven it for ages, so... Not properly. <laughs>